Hi. We're at Machine Crafts Plant today to show you the new 2022 all electric compact series of thermal forming machine, the E Uno and the multi axis CNC trimming machine, both to be launched at the K2022 show. The machine is built strong with large racks, gearboxes, and standard components from international make of brands. The machine is of max forming area 800 by 1000 millimeters and max tool height of 400 millimeters. The electrical panel is built as per CE guidelines and with standard international make of components. The main MCCB is the 3VA series from Siemens. The switch gears are Sirius series from Siemens. Bus bar system for power distribution is from Wohner. Fuse for the heater ovens is from Siemens. Holder is from Wohner. MCB, the B-type tripping series for resistive load, for individual heater protection is from Eaton. The solid state relays, which control the switching of the individual heater elements inside the heater oven, are from Crydon. The PLC is FX5 series from Mitsubishi Japan. Motion controller for the servo drives. AD converter for proportional servo valve and thermocouple are also from Mitsubishi Japan. The machine has three servo motors, hence there are three servo motor drives inside the electrical panel, 3.5 kilowatts for driving the bottom table, 2 kilowatts for driving the upper table, and 1 kilowatt for driving the heater oven. The power supply is from Phoenix, Germany. Electronic relays for actuating the solenoids are from Phoenix, Germany. Safety relays for light curtains, safety switches are from Phoenix and Omron. The main electrical cabinet is from Rittel. The wires used are from LAP, Germany. The machine is built with operator safety in mind. All the movements are pneumatically locked in each cycle. There are also safety light curtains in the loading and unloading area to prevent any accidents. There are also safety door lock limit switches from Allen Bradley. There is also an independent pneumatic cylinder to pull the heaters back to home position in case of power failure. The window frame is made using an aluminium plate of 20mm thickness and has the aperture cut to fit sheet of size 850mm by 1050mm. These plates are lightweight and can be changed by the operator easily for a different sheet size. The upper frame can be manually adjusted using the cross member system. The tool is loaded on the lower and upper tables, clamped using bolts on top of the base frame, having rubber to seal the frame onto the main frame of the machine. The maximum connected load to the machine is 45 kilowatts. That is connected to the main electrical panel. Also, the machine requires compressed air up to six bar, which comes from an air compressor. The air is filtered using FRL system from Festo. Once the sheet frames are loaded, the tool is loaded and the electrical and air connections are established. The operator fires up the touchscreen HMI from where all the machine settings are to be done. The main screen has all the timing parameters that can be stored as a recipe in an SD card. The heater settings are also available in the touchscreen HMI. Zones can be set. The machine has several movements, so the acceleration deceleration profiles can be set. The machine can digitally read the vacuum value using the pressure switch and also has a servo valve for vacuuming, so a multi-step vacuum can also be set. Once all the process parameters are set, the operator loads the machine with the thermoplastic sheet, which is clamped tightly using pneumatically driven sheet clamping systems that work in synchronization using rack and pinion mechanisms. There are two heating ovens in the machine above and below the thermoplastic sheet for sandwich heating materials up to 10 millimeters thick. The heating oven contains infrared quartz heating elements placed in a grid and zone controlled to achieve homogeneous heating. Each element can be individually controlled or set up as zones using the setting available on the touchscreen. The heating oven also contains infrared probes for sensing the real temperature of the sheet. The quartz elements can be powered down when the heating ovens are in the back, resulting in power saving. Once the sheet is heated, it starts sagging. This is detected by a light sensor placed at the bottom of the sheet right above the bottom heater. 
A pulsating air is also blown to effective control the sagging of the sheet. This is possible due to the closed chamber design of the machine. Once the sheet is heated, there is air blown from below to make a bubble. The height of the bubble is controlled by a light sensor which can be height adjusted or be set using a timer. This is called pre-blowing and is useful for male moulds to achieve an even wall thickness distribution. In this example, you can see the heated sheet formed without the bubble. The cross section shows the thickness distribution and here you can see the heated sheet followed by pre-blow bubble and then forming. The cross section shows an even thickness distribution. After the bubble, the tool table in the bottom and sometimes on the top comes into contact with the sheet. Both these sheets are servo motor driven, so the tables can be stopped at any distance between the sheet and the mould. They can also have a soft touch and soft release possible due to acceleration and deceleration settings available on the touchscreen. After the tool comes into contact with the heated sheet, air is evacuated from the area between the sheet and the mould by a 100 meter cubed per hour vacuum pump via a servo valve for multi-step vacuuming. After applying vacuum, the part is cooled using centrifugal fans. There is also an IR probe to detect the cooled temperature of the part. After cooling, release air is applied between the sheet and the mould to release the part. Machinecraft's E Uno series of all electrical compact thermoforming machines set a new benchmark and will be launched at the K2022 show in Dusseldorf on October 19th, 2022. After vacuum forming, the part can be set up on multi-axis CNC machine from Machinecraft to CNC trim the part. The part is set up on a trimming fixture with vacuum pads. The cutting program is preloaded on the controller and the trimming machine follows the toolpath. Machinecraft's RT series of CNC routers designed to trim thermoformed parts will also be launched at the K2022 show in Dusseldorf on October 19th, 2022. Machinecraft would also like to invite you to set up an appointment with our representatives at the K2022 show to talk about your next thermoforming project. You can visit Machinecraft at Hall 3, booth G62 to book a viewing of the all-new E-Uno and RT series of machines.